Hey guys, Sharpen here. In this video, I wanted to uh, start a new series uh, where I take one sample and I try to flip it in 30 minutes into something not finished, but like a bit or something. I also make two uploads, like one uh, of an edited version that is like 10 minutes long and another one that is 30 minutes long of the same uh, beat making. And they'll both be on my channel so you can watch whichever you like. So yeah, this sample I took from Splice and the only thing I did in this project was set the BPM and uh, find the chords of the sample. So let me play you the sample. And yeah, basically I'm just going to start the timer and see uh, what I can do with it in 30 minutes. Okay, so let's start. So. I really want this to be sort of like um, a very upbeat thing going on, kind of like the 1975 uh, two time, two time, something like that, I think. Uh, so let's see how we can make that happen. So I'm going to start by loading up some drum samples. And snare, I want sort of like a, a very short rim snare. Yeah, something like this. And now a hi-hat. And maybe some percussion or toms. Yeah, I think just a bit of percussion. Maybe the percussion will come in later. So let's try. I kind of chose this sample because it has a weird BPM. So I have no clue how is this going to work, but let's give it a shot. So yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I'll just put one every uh, beat. I think I'll add some distortion so I can hear it a bit better.
Yeah, I think something like this. Okay, so I'm going to add a short roll to this note. Or maybe to this note. I think I'm going to make it a free note roll. Something like this. Yeah, okay. So let's do this. And now we can make uh, this thing more interesting. So let's try. Maybe just a bit. Okay, so now let's get a baseline going. So I think I'm gonna use Serum. Let's just find the presets. Uh -uh. Okay, let's try it.
Okay, I think... a different version of this uh, loop and I want to kind of bit crush it and destroy it a bit so I'm going to route it to here for example and let's start changing it so some bit crushing And I think some distortion. And now I want a very wide and short reverb. So, um, I think I'm going to go with Rome. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and I'm going to remove the lows a bit. Yeah, okay, so now I'm going to just try and cut it into something. So, yeah, let's give it a shot.
shift it. shift it uh, let's give this thing another chance though the reverse part okay maybe this thing synth to fit in a small part yeah maybe here Okay, so I think I can play like a short lead using this thing. So I don't want this part to slide, so I'm going to just cut it a bit.
okay so now that i have this sort of like uh sign lead that's completing the main thing i'm going to add some effects to it to make it stand out a bit more so i think a very short reverb a very short reverb like super short maybe some drive Now delay. I love uh, Echo Boy Junior. It's great. <laughs> so yeah, let's make it dotted and ping pong. Yeah. I think this sounds pretty cool. Um, let's try and add some texture, just like some random noise. Yeah, okay, some vinyl noise, why not? Let's make it pretty quiet and in the back. And I want to make uh, another lead that's a bit more dominant and plays an actual melody and not like small fills. So yeah, uh, I'll go to my presets when I find them. <laughs> and uh, 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 this thing, I think. Yeah, could work. Let's try. So I'm going to increase its volume and try and improvise something. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, let's try. No, it's not tuned. <laughs> I guess I'll have to go with something that is tuned. Or maybe I could just like tune it. Um, let's use a tuner. <laughs> okay, so I need to go something like this, I think. Yeah, yeah, let's try. way too in the back
want a B section and I want it to have a very up-tempo bass line. So I'm going to take this bass line and just make it a lot faster. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just use a serum preset. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this one. Let's try it. Not too fast. So maybe like this. Now it's too weird, so maybe like an 808. Okay, um, okay, so that's it. Um, yeah, so let's see what we came up with. So there's this part. And this part. Okay, so I think if I had to arrange it in a logical order, I'd probably remove the synth fluid from here and keep it in here. And I'd probably um, try and filter what's going on uh, in this section, I think. So I think we can do just that, just to make it a bit more uh, realistic and cohesive. So I'm going to take this, the piano, the sample, and I'm going to route them to a single group so I can filter them. So, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, okay. So let's try. Okay, so I'm going to make the mix uh, to zero and I'm only going to enable it at that part. And let's just play with the cutoff in that part so we can see what we're going to make. 
So something like this. And I'm going to enable it uh, starting here, a bar before, just so I can mess with it a bit. So I'm going to start with an open filter and I'm going to close it like really fast. Something like this. Maybe like this. And now for the second part, this thing repeats, like here. I'm going to do make it open up. Uh, 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 and I'll probably just ha add the hi-hats. So just these. And maybe like just the snap or the rim sound. Okay, something like this. And then I'll probably just bring the beat back. I think it makes sense. Yeah, I think it makes sense. I think I'll probably use just the highs of this loop, the original loop. Probably reverbed. Okay, so yeah, let's add just the vinyls thing to everything. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I think it needed like an additional five minutes of arranging, but I think it's a very solid uh, starting beat. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably just add like a mastering chain on top uh, just to make it sound more professional. Uh, but I think that that's it. So I'm going to just play uh, a playthrough of it from start to end.
Okay, I'm pretty proud of this for 30, minute, 30 minutes and just a bit of arranging. Uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, I love starting with uh, loops because I never know where I'm going to end up with them. And it's a bit more challenging when you need to make your main thing something from a loop that someone already played the chords in and played the melody in so you can't have a lot of control over what you're doing. And I think it turned out pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, Splice is great. <laughs> you should try to. <laughs> uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>